everybody. I am walking down the streets of Chicago today. I am going to stop by the Delta for dinner. So this place specializes in some soul food in Chicago and I am here to try out a whole bunch of variety of dishes and see what they have to offer. Um, it smells amazing, looks amazing, the vibe looks great. Um, but yeah, let's go inside this place and check it out because I am ready to eat. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to be sitting outside in the back of the restaurant because inside is super poppin'. But it's beautiful, there is a full bar, there is an open kitchen concept so you can see all the delicious food being made and also a cover up patio so you can also enjoy some food with a nice crisp of the air of Chicago. But yeah, um, we're waiting for some of the food and the dishes to come out right now so I'm excited. It smells really good. Okay. And this is our Delta burger with wow. animal style fries. Thank you, thank you. That looks amazing. Thank you. Wow. So here's some of the food. This looks gorgeous. Wow. We got mac and cheese, the tamales. This is uh, two of them. One is beef and one is the vegan stuff. So. Okay, sounds good. Hi guys. And this is the Juneteenth specialty dish that looks amazing. Wow. All right, already brought us some desserts too. This is the banana pump de creme. Mm, yum, yum, yum. This is the last dish? Yep, this is the dime store chicken. Wow. Whoa, look at that. That's amazing, thank you. And Rob's gonna put on some old style inspired uh, beer gravy on top. Beer gravy, okay, thank you. Well, that smells so good, thank you. All right, guys, this looks incredible. Let me put my hair up and let's start digging into this. Okay, guys, so let's get started here. It looks incredible. I definitely want to get started on this chicken first. Look at that. It is juiced up. Oh, my God. We're going to make an incision right down the middle. Get some of the chicken breast meat out. Wow, it looks super juicy. Wow, the meat came out so fast and it's steamy. Mm. Wow. That is a very good chicken. It almost tastes smoked. Let's try out the skin. Wow, that's so crispy. Wow, this one tastes like smoked chicken. That this is delicious. Is that stuffing too? It, it reminds me of like a uh, Thanksgiving turkey, to be honest. Wow, that is awesome. I'd rather much have it, rather have this than a Thanksgiving turkey because this is so juicy. Look, look how easily this drumstick just came out. Definitely the chicken skin, best part. Ooh. All right. All right. Now I really want to try this dish. This is called the Hoping Junk. It's filled with some carbs, some meat, and some black eyed peas in here. Wow. Well, that almost tastes like fried rice. It's so much flavor into one. So far, 
everything has so much flavor. It's really hearty food. It really makes you feel like splash of flavor. Mm. So much umami. Now, of course, you can have a so food restaurant without some nice mac and cheese. Look at that. It's topped with a lot of cheese, with some crumbs. Oh my god. And super cheesy. I did not take my lactate pills. I need to be careful with this one, but this is really good. Try out these uh, hoe cakes. There's some catfish on these as well. It's got a more cornmeal flavor to it than regular pancakes. Let's see how this tastes like. Oh yeah, there is catfish in between these cakes. The layering on the uh, hoe cakes is really crispy. It's not fluffy like pancakes. It's more of like a uh, crisp to it than like a fluff. Mm. Oh, the catfish is excellent. Very nice sauce to put, uh, combine it all together. Wow, I think this is the first time I've had like this type of food. Catfish in between the summer. Black Again, the catfish has the, kind of like the same smoky flavor coming from the chicken. Okay, I can't wait to try that next. This is one of their most popular dishes. Tamales. I absolutely love tamales, so this is gonna be great. Dip into some of their sauce. Oh no. Slippery fingers. Mm. Oh wow. Usually when I have tamales, the cornmeal on the outside doesn't have any flavor, but this one, I'm pretty sure before they cook this tamale, like the cornmeal itself already has a whole bunch of spices into it. You can just tell from the texture in the front. There's a lot of black pepper. It's already colored. It's not just plain white. It's red. So these two are different flavors, I believe. Let's try out one of these. Ooh. Oh, this one is a darker color. So this is more brown than red. steak and jambalaya. Let's try this out. Let's try out the steak first. This is a little nice sauce on there. Mm. Again, it's like a nice smoky flavor on the beef. Crisp to kind of balance it out. It's 
spicy. There's a lot, a lot of protein here. All right, now let's try out the jambalaya that pairs with this dish. Shrimp. Ooh. Shrimp is phenomenal. Let's try the rice. Mm, it's like fried garlic rice. Wow. This part, the jambalaya and shrimp, this is bomb. Mm. 10 out of 10 on that part. Now let's try out the uh, Delta Burger. So the Delta Burger comes with some animal style fries. Me coming from California, let me judge these animal fries, see how good they are. Ooh. Wow. The sauce is actually on point. Oh, these are good. They got the onions right, they got the sauce right, they got the cheese right, that's not half bad. Alright, let's try out the burger, which is also some sort of like animal style burger. Oh. That is good. You know, they really, really nailed that sauce. It tastes very similar to In-N-Out. Alright. I think the dish that really surprised me is definitely the chicken. I really did not expect this kind of smokiness to come out from this chicken, so this really impressed me. And this is completely different. I didn't expect this kind of flavor come from like rice itself. It's so, it's heavy, but it's not. It's just really strong on flavor. It's just so much in one bite. Mm, it's really good. It'll go really good with some hot sauce. Their hot sauce is really awesome. Yeah, I really like this chicken. which was my favorite. I think it's that jambalaya. That jambalaya right there was my favorite and I think it's the chicken and the hair and then the tamales, that, the steak, this, that. That's just because it's burger and fries. Everything else is so special but everything is phenomenal. Let's try out some of the dessert. So this is their uh, banana creme, kind of like banana pudding. I mean, you can't hate on banana cream pudding. Mm. Nah, it's so good. It's just so fluff. Mm. This was definitely super excellent. If you guys are in Chicago, definitely check this place out, the Delta. I can assure you, any of these dishes will fill you up. It's just so filling. It's just so much flavor and you are going to be satisfied. Your taste buds will be like, wow, it's just a pop of flavor. And definitely get some dessert too because that banana pudding was phenomenal. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish up here and um, enjoy the rest of my dinner for a little bit and hopefully you guys can check it out if you um, come to Chicago because this is, this is definitely a must try. It's very different from all the other places that I've been to. But yeah, let them know I sent you a visit. Okay. Oh, all right.
right, you guys. So that was an amazing time there at the Delta. If you guys are in Chicago, definitely check this place out. Stop by, grab a... Oh! Bye! Ooh, cool. Some people recognize me in Chicago. That's super awesome. Woo! Um, but yeah. Uh, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, dude, I've completely destroyed that banana pudding too. I was like, oh, that thing is so good. So, again, if you guys are in Chicago, definitely get this place to try. Let them know I sent you. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.